this morning I woke up this morning I woke up this morning I woke up this morning Some folks say that sex is upright dancing, a way out of no way, and it's the beginning and the end of blue. The bed was a blues lyric. Gravel and stank, threaded through with train whistle, the red shred of yesterday's pork wedged in a back motor. It was a broke heart delta reed, the shucking of peas by women rocking on a wraparound porch. It was an old Negro's heartsick croon, trickling from the nib of an exhausted needle. The bed was not plotted or planned. It was a questionable haven for a tangle, a sudden wall of rain designed to rearrange a bended neck. It was a bulging suitcase two world hip women had to bounce their hard butt bones on to clothes. Crammed full as it was with, I can't take this no more, baby. Stuffed full as it was with, uh, you ain't leaving, are you? Packed full as it was with, and I wonder, could a matchbox hold my clothes? The bed was every damn thing a man says before he screeches, give me my gun. Before he considers the traditionally murderous work of his knuckles and mouth. The bed was last call, a rushed dagger of rot gut and the wide allowed absence of a functional jukebox. The bed was a bed that scraped and rolled rocketed and spun, levitated and crashed. It was a gnaw in the south of an unbridled belly. The bed was just a little exclamation to growl through a clench in the smile. It was hot dollops of serpentine funk playing havoc with the perimeters of the room. It was a silver sheet of wet, a rhapsodic progression of restless verb. The bed was defined by a meal of Tabasco splashed on shards of dubious swine. It was the words, the baby, 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 ain't no way words, that worked on a submerged cadence of a gal tugged all bloody from the hips of Chicago. The bed didn't ask no questions. It was accidental. It was picked up and placed in the wrong damn day. It waddled fro and two like a John Lee hooker behind Coke bottle sunshades and underneath a sweaty, tilted beige Stetson. The bed could not be firmly established. It was a line in a song without a song around it. In its hand-me-down clothing, the bed knew no nurture, could claim no owner, no mother, lover, or confidant. When it leaked music into the clutches of dark, it sounded like a sharp left turn on a flattening tire. It sounded like a nosy pointer finger caught in a crevice. It sounded like a dog numb with mange, wondering when the time done gone. It sounded like the snooty tooth suck of that Baptist preacher and that one. It sounded like the tenation bed in your 3 a.m. body. It like last month's takeout left to glory in a warm fridge. It sounded like all the fruitless, stupid ways we search for language. It sounded like I love you, I love you, I love you, I love you, I don't. It sounded like the vanish you need for bath water and rent money. It sounded like a bass string overplucked by a scissor tongue. It sounded like that. The bed was momentarily elated. It forgot its obligations. It kept smushing the snooze button. The bed was sadly deluded. 
It assumed a future it didn't have. It wrote bad checks all over town. The bed resided at the rock bottom of an indigo bellow. It was oh so clearly a way out of nowhere. The bed didn't know its own strength. It was a midnight binge of curdled water, olive loaf, and the slick shining soup squeezed from bacon. The bed was a blues lyric, sugared revelation from a diseased mouth. It was just a single tear jerk line, slat rhyme and scraping, the hiccup. I woke up this morning. I woke up this morning. I woke up this morning. The first lie that so many of us 